Hey creatives, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's so nice to have you here. My name is Nela and I make videos about bullet journaling and creativity. Today I am super excited to announce this is the first collaboration video ever on this channel. And I am super excited because the Washi Tape Shop has reached out to me and was so kindly to send over some of their Washi Tapes. I believe from their artist collections. I will definitely double check that and yeah. So in this video we're gonna unbox or unwrap all the tapes they sent to me. We're gonna have a detailed look on them and try them out and I hope that this is something that you are enjoying as much as I do. You know I was talking to a friend recently about the YouTube thing and I said to her look if one of these very cool companies ever reaches out to me and wants to send me stuff, then I made it as a YouTuber. And so basically I made it now. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I did not expect that to happen and that makes it even more exciting to me. Yeah, I also got a little discount code for you. It's Nelis Notes 10. So if you want to grab any of the washi tapes that you see in this video or also other ones from their website, you can use this code to get 10% off your purchase. And also all the products that I look at today, they are linked in the info box with all the information you need. And to be fully transparent here, these links are affiliate links. So if you order over them, I get a small per co commission. Is that the word? I get a small percentage. Um, just so you know, I think it's a pretty standard YouTube thing. Probably you've heard it before, but I just want to say it. You don't have to pay a single cent more for that. It's just that you can support me with it. And that is a pretty cool win-win situation. You get a discount, I get a bit of cash. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> I guess this is a video that definitely shows that YouTube is a job you grow into, that you have to practice a lot. It's not as easy as it looks online, like it takes a lot of work and effort. But I hope even though this might not be the perfect unboxing video that you might have watched from other YouTubers. Um, I hope that it can be a very chill stationary unpacking session. <laughs> Just a fun hangout with you, with me, together. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I lose my point here. Cool washi tapes and stickers and stuff. Let's look at them. Let's stop talking and get into the video. All right, so here we are at my desk situation. I hope you appreciate the little extra effort I took in decoration today. Like we have a little crystal vibe going on and a little candle. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about the fire on set, but never mind. <laughs> I'm sure it will be fine. This is what the washi tape shop has sent to me. I'm looking at those seven packed rolls here. This is a lot and I'm a lot excited. I think we're starting with those three. They have like these flower motifs here on the top. I guess we're starting with this one. And it is the Floral Wave White Tape. Is the PET important? I'm not sure. I guess you can see that I'm an amateur unpacking things online. Yeah, so that looks beautiful. I hope you get an impression. This looks like a clear surface and I believe that they are like stickers on there. I, I don't really know how to start this. Maybe this is turning into an ASMR video. How would you feel about that? Wow. I did not quite figure out if it is stickers or not. I believe it is stickers. Or you might peel off the other side and then just I really thought I would be more professional and more cool doing this. Ah, okay, yeah. So you have two layers here. I guess it is kind of a sticker thing, but since this is a clear tape, you don't have to peel the motive off. You just have to peel the back off and you can stick it into your notebooks and then the clear 
surface won't show. That is pretty amazing. I like that. And for the um, for the motifs, you have those beautiful flowers with butterflies and lots of greenery. That is amazing. I think we should do a bit of trying out that stuff in a bit since I probably did not chose the best background for everything here. All right, what should we do next? This is the dusty blue and cinnamon white PET tape. Well, and now we just have to look, watch my amazing unwrapping skills again. All right, so another one of those, same um, idea, I guess. So you somehow have to get rid of this Oh, here. One eternity later. That didn't go super well. <laughs> Left a little mark here, but doesn't matter, I guess. So yeah, we have the same um, concept here of the transparent foil where these beautiful flowers are on. Damn, they look so good. That reminds me a bit of when I was a kid, my grandma and I used to do some all sorts of creative stuff and she had a lot of stickers and all kinds of creative utensils and maybe that's a bit where I got this obsession from. <laughs> yeah, these are very beautiful. I don't know about these peonies. I, I would joke now that I um, worked in a flower shop, but you know, I never really learned the proper flower English, so <laughs> I'm not too sure about that and I guess this might be the same concept it's the autumn rose white PET tape maybe the PET stands for the transparent thing <laughs> now I'm nervous to take this off but we just gotta get through it much 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 later yeah it also left like a little sticky mark here but I don't think it's too bad I mean look at this you got quite a bit of tape on these. It's not like you buy them for like the money that they cost and then they just go to there and you have like 20 centimeters of tape. I bet you use them for quite some time. So this is the same concept in red colors, I guess. And look how beautiful they are. Here are some cute pumpkins in like white colors. That's a bit of a different twist on pumpkins. I really like that. Um, yeah, you get some nice refs, is that the word? <laughs> Here, all kinds of decorations. And I love how there are these like bigger sections and then next to that there are like branches and single little flowers. It's really nice and if you have a smaller scissor it would probably work pretty well to just um, cut those things off and use them in your journal. And then we look into... I just randomly grabbed something. This is something that has to do with holiday, obviously. It's the four season washi tape sticker set. So I guess in here are four different rolls. Let's see. Two very boring minutes later. I would think maybe this is the spring roll. Sounds like an Asian dish. <laughs> Open this. Oh no, nothing happened, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is a spring thing with lots of cute, oh, it has cake and stuff on it. And it's really hard to see. I mean, you probably can see that on camera. I can barely see that like in real life. This isn't normal washi tape, it has stickers, which wow, the name of this was not spoiling that at all. Yeah, you can use them like stickers. That's all I wanted to say. Those little motifs you can peel off and then stick them into your journal. And that is very, very cool. That's something I believe I haven't seen anywhere else before. And we have that with basically all four seasons. The only thing that is a bit hard is to peel this off without wrecking the stickers underneath. So summer is like picnic, camping, cocktails, strawberries, very nice. Unicorns, another bike, some like, guess some outdoor um, festival. I forgot the word for things like that. What is that? <laughs> but you know what I mean. 
And I really like these illustrations, they look so cute. What does that say? Take a spontaneous road trip. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Sadly, that's something I'm not too good at. So this must be the autumn vibes. We have some candles, some cozy clothes that looks like a bit like the shirt I'm wearing today. My favorite shirt that makes me look like Harry Potter. We have some mushrooms. Oh, we went collecting mushrooms last year. Some tarot cards. I'm down for that. Absolutely love it. And I guess these are marshmallows. Not a big fan of that, but it looks really cute. Some pumpkin. Let's read what it says here. Decorate your home with seasonal accessories. <laughs> Is that how you pronounce it? I have no idea. Some tea time and the cake from the beginning. It looks delicious. I like to eat that. And again, these illustrations are so cute. And you know, usually I'm always thinking like, oh, I could do that myself, but obviously this saves a lot of time and effort and it is so easy done and you get a cohesive look in your journals. That's very handy. And so this is, this must be winter season. We have some cozy sweaters, a little penguin on a sleigh. How cute is that? <laughs> Holiday concert, the TV that says Winter Wonderland with some, I guess, marshmallow, cacao, and are these cupcakes? And some cookies, some board game, and a little, I don't know how to call that, <laughs> some presents, and make a snow angel girl. Very cute. And I think you can definitely use them perfectly throughout the year in your bullet journals or whatever creative form you use to use washi tapes. So yeah, that has have been the four seasons washi tapes. I think that's a cute collection. I really like it. We have another seasonal thing, I think, looking at the pumpkin here and it is it doesn't say exactly what it is, but this here says pumpkin spice. So I believe we're looking at something that has to do with autumn. 12 seconds later. Now that worked better. Did you see I'm getting a professional? <laughs> so I think this is exactly the same idea here. We have those washi tape rolls and they have stickers on them. And I believe all of those are stickers. And I already like what I see. Could do a whole fall theme just from that. This looks like a roll with a lot of leaves on it. So yeah, here we got a few very cute leaves. They look like painted with watercolors and definitely a very easy way to decorate something. I, I'm, I can totally imagine using that because I find painting leaves easy and hard at the same time. I don't know if that makes sense, but I, you know, it takes some time to create something that looks so real, realistic like these look. So definitely a nice thing. This here looks like a cozy drink or a, a collection of coziness. Let's call it like that. Oh yeah, got some flowers here, an envelope, coffee. Coffee's always good. And uh, candles and cozy cup. I guess that's jam. I never made jam myself in my whole life. Some plants, pillows, flowers, a pen, always good. A tea bag. That looks like pretty, well, quite a lot of different motifs, I believe. Until here, you got all kinds of different doodles. That just looks like coziness in a nutshell to me. <laughs> got some cozy socks, more coffee, a little book. It's just really adorable. And I really like the colors. Like they are not too in your face. They're a bit nuded, nuded. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> They're not like bright red or anything. It's just beautiful. I love it. I can't wait for creating fall themes already, even though I'm just waiting for summer to end my winter depression. <laughs> the only thing that's annoying me is that it is hard to take these things off, but I guess there's no other way to really do that. I couldn't imagine anything easier. 
So we have another very autumn-y, is autumn -y a word? If not, it is now. Um, collection of very cute doodles. It looks more a bit like gardening and being outdoors. Really want to do something cozy now. It is very cute. Again, this looks very much like pumpkin. So yeah, another roll here. And I really like this idea of having stickers on a washi tape. Yeah, this looks pretty much like autumn. It says autumn in nearly every sticker. <laughs> Yeah, these are definitely cute. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm so much about them because I usually, I'm not the biggest fan of saying things that are said on stickers like autumn vibes and fall is here. They look cute, don't get me wrong. I don't think it's that much my aesthetics, but you can definitely decorate a lot of stuff with that. And this looks like another pumpkin themed <laughs> roll. We got everything that looks so tasty and I'm getting more and more hungry here. <laughs> yeah, definitely looks a lot like I would love to eat that. Very sweet, literally. So yeah, these are a lot of autumn vibes. <laughs> if you already want to get something for your autumn theme, that might definitely be a good choice. So this is what is at the top and it is the Ricordi Della Sofita washing tape sticker set. I have no idea if I said that right. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later. Well, I believe I looked at that online and I thought, oh, that would be so nice to have. So we got four rolls and they go from narrow to pretty wide. And let's start with the narrow because that is pretty easy. I believe this is just a normal washi tape here. Yeah, normal washi tape, no stickers on here. It is like a rose color with some berry-like branches on it. And the thing about it is I guess you have to peel off the back here to stick it in your journal, but I don't mind that stuff. That doesn't bother me too much. Jesus, peeling off things is annoying to me. <laughs> Just not patient enough for that, but we did it. This is another simple, simple washi tape. It has these, hmm, if I knew now what they are called. It has some like line art flowers on them and in the background there's a really, really delicate, soft pattern. I hope you can just see that a bit. It looks pretty minimalistic to me, I like that. Then here we have, it looks like something with labels on it. So this is uh, like the other rolls that had the stickers on them. These are stickers and this is amazing. Like, you know, you can peel this off and then just stick it in your bullet journal. And I hope that you can write on this with a lot of pens because that will make it really awesome. They are beautiful. They look very much vintage-like, retro, but like soft pastel colors. I like it. And this here looks beautiful. It just simply looks amazing. It's again like a watercolor um, style and the colors are very, very soft. I guess this way around would make more sense to you, but it's a bit of a challenge for me. Yeah, we got like blue and rose tones and a lot of cursive written things. And I would think they are beautiful for making vintage themes. Yeah, beautiful. I like this. I would have chosen that myself. And now we get to the last roll, which is kind of a sim similar theme. This is the petals and parchment washi tape sticker set. Petals and parchment. I don't know what that means. <laughs> so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Let's start with this little one here. This looks like a usual washi tape again. The one from the set before. Just in a greenish tone and it has those flowers on here and something very, very lightly written in the background. It looks it screams vintage in a very sub subtle way. 
Don't know if you've watched my December plan with me. I used some washi tape that had those stamps to that you can rip off. And now I have a postcard tape with stamp uh, stickers on it. I already confused myself. Yeah, we got some floral stamps here. And it's not only stamps, it's like either petals or par parches, was that the word? It looks amazing, so much vintage. I don't even know how many vintage themes I can create to use all of this. <laughs> this looks also amazing. <laughs> With love, it says that's already a good thing, I think. We have another of these blue flowers. <laughs> I just accept now that I don't know the name of them and I am ashamed of it, believe me. We get some very, very tiny ornaments here and I think they are like single stickers that are not detached to this paragraph, but you could totally use them together. We got those tiny tech pieces here. <laughs> and I really love these illustrations. They look so beautiful. They look like from old books or something. And this gets me excited because <laughs> I always like these tapes that you can use in the background. And it has like these real descriptions of plants on it, as I can say as I can see, it says like, oh, I was right about it, it is a peony. It doesn't say like lorem ipsum on it, if you know that, that's like a filler text that you can use for uh, digital design. And probably you could learn something on it. I am, I'm not gonna prove if these texts on here are <laughs> correctly, but I really like the effort. Like usually you would buy something like this for cheap and you get something that just has gibberish and bullshit on it, but this, this looks like from a real book and this is probably my favorite from this set. And as I look on my desk on all the <laughs> on all the papers that we produced, I think we're done. I think that's it for this and I would say I get my bullet journal and we can test a bit of it out. A few moments later. To be honest, I thought I speed up the process of sticking this stuff in the journal because I got a bit bored of my own talking, honestly, while editing. I don't want to get you through like 50 minutes of unboxing something. So yeah, what I basically did was try out the floral and more vintagey stuff on the left side of the page. And on the other side, we will create a little bit of coziness. Yeah, I guess in the end I can tell you that I really enjoy using the products of the washi tape shop. For this little um, label here, you can write on it, you just have to wait quite some time till the paint or the pen dries on it. Yeah, using the tapes and the stickers is really enjoyable, it um, works pretty well. You can peel off stickers again and layer them. Yeah, the look is very, very nice. So in general, I will say, even though the products are a bit more on the pricey side compared to stationery that you can get, for example, on AliExpress or somewhere else, um, I would say it's totally worth it. Like, you get what you pay for. I can definitely recommend these washi tapes and the stickers and if you look at the washi tape shops side you will find that they have such a big variety of different tapes and motifs and I guess for every single taste and likeness there's something that you might find for yourself. So yeah, I hope that this video was enjoyable and I will show you the details in a second and then I will say goodbye to you because I can't finish a video without saying goodbye. <laughs>can't let you go without saying goodbye into a camera so all i really want to say in the end is thanks so much for watching and for being here thanks for all your lovely support on my channel thanks for all your comments that 
as always, it means a lot. It makes me incredibly happy. I'm so happy you're here. And for those of you who stick around until the end, I can't believe it. My videos are so long and you are still here. This is amazing. Thank you so much. With that said, if you haven't by now, maybe consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoy what I do here. And see you in my next video. Bye.